peace and love to you. Let's introspect. So you're in an interracial relationship and you have haters. I wanna give you a few tips, a few ideas, a few perspectives on how to manage the haters. Step number one, most of the time the people hating on you are people who are older than you. They come from a different generation. Everything in life is about psychology. So what you wanna do is understand that your current generation right now that you're in has a different mindset than a generation of your mom, of your dad, of your aunts, uncles, and even of your grandparents. They were raised on different beliefs, different morals, different ideas than what you were raised on. The second thing that you have to do when you're dealing with someone who is hating on you for dating interracially is you need to explain to them that they're being an asshole to you. If they truly care about you, if they truly care about your well-being, if they truly care about your happiness, they wouldn't care who you were dating as long as you were happy. Because a real friend, a real family member, a real supporter cares about your happiness. And you have a hater that's a friend or family member let them know that they're being a to you because what's more important picking someone on race or picking someone that's gonna treat you well that's gonna be there for you when you're sick that you can make a bunch of memories with you tell me what's more important the third thing you have to always remember the opinions of other people don't pay your bill the opinions of other people aren't the ones going to sleep with you at night the opinions of other people are not gonna be in your kitchen making food when you're hungry the opinions of other people are not gonna be the the people at your bedside when you're sick you need to choose your lover and your lover needs to choose you everyone else's opinion is truly irrelevant if they don't like who you're dating because that person is too tall or too short or they're not the same race as what they think you should date guess what you choose who you get to love and since you're choosing your lover that means you're also choosing to ignore their opinions the fourth thing is the most important thing when you are dating someone interracially and you have haters in your friend group or family group and they're hating on you because you pick someone someone that's not the same race as them or not the same race as you, you have to create a barrier and boundaries around your relationship so these people don't bring negativity into it. Now that might not be easy, but it is something that is mandatory. It's a very uncomfortable situation to be in when you're dating someone and the other family members don't support the relationship simply because of your race. Even though you may be a great person and you're there for this person, you're supportive emotionally, and that person's having a great time with you just because they don't support you because of your race that's nonsense and so what you need to do as the people in the relationship is you got to always protect the relationship so when people have those negative opinions and they keep bringing them to you block them out even if it's a friend or family member that you have to block on social media block them because you don't need any negativity in your relationship every relationship is gonna have inner struggles and inner conflicts you want to manage those conflicts you don't want to man manage outside conflicts when people are bringing that negativity to you pow cut it off cut it off before you do number four which is usually gonna lead to you cutting people off you need to do step five step five is being open to their ideas and their thoughts be inviting to the things that they suggest and when I say they I'm talking about the people who oppose the idea of you being in an interracial relationship whether it's a friend or family member you're probably a very strong willed and strong-minded person so at the beginning of the hate be open to it be open to it so you can hear their perspective one of the worst things you can do in life is just be close-minded towards anything and remember the people who are hating on your relationship because you're in an interracial relationship are being close-minded so don't meet close-mindedness with close-mindedness meet close-mindedness with open-mindedness it might help them get over the hump because it, it might just be something they're not used to or something they weren't ready for and obviously we're talking about friends and family members people you might actually care about so when it first happens be open to it be open to having that conversation about it some families grow up and they want all Mexicans marrying Mexicans they want all Asians and all Asians and all blacks and all blacks and all whites and all whites and having a tribal mindset there's nothing wrong with having a tribal mindset if you're raising a family and they say that you're a young black girl and you should marry a, a strong young black man there's nothing wrong with that mindset if you go through life and you're a young black girl and you find a nice white 
white guy, a strong white guy that's gonna suit you, there's nothing wrong with that. So don't let other people tell you there's something wrong with what your heart chooses, what your soul chooses. So don't let somebody else tell you what your life is or what is going to be based on who you love. When that hate comes in initially, be open to it. If it gets to be too much, refer to number four, where you set those boundaries and cut people off if you need to. Number six, this is probably the most important thing you need to do. If you're gonna be in an interracial relationship, you need to be very mindful of the racial prejudices that the other person may face. You need to be mindful of the battles that is currently going on in your country and in the world with that race. Here's the reason why. If you're going to be with someone, you accept everything about them. So you need to accept their race and you need to be smart enough to understand how the society that you live in looks at their race. When you're in a situation, you know how people may maneuver and you also have a way out. You know how to maneuver your way out of maybe a, a tough conversation or a compromising situation because you already are aware of the racial prejudices. This is gonna do two things for you. The first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna make your bond with your partner tougher and stronger. If you're supporting their struggles just based on their race, they're gonna love you so much more because it's something they've probably dealt with their entire life. Secondly, it's gonna help you guys reduce potential conflictive situations in the future. Having awareness is the most important thing in the world. Make sure you know what obstacles their race faces so when things happen, you can get out of the situation quickly. Step number seven is for all you petty people out there. If you are in an interracial relationship and you have haters, Maybe it's your mom, your dad, friends at school, your teammates, other family members that only talk to you on Thanksgiving and Christmas. Here's what you do for them. You make them feel stupid because they dislike somebody because of their skin color. Yes, I know there's millions of people that exist like that and those people are stupid. There is no logical reason to dislike somebody because of their skin color. You wanna talk about logic? If I walk up to you right now, slap you twice, crack an egg over your head and throw some flour on you, that's a reason. I've given you a reason to dislike me. But if I'm walking down the street and you don't like me because of something I can't control like the pigment of my skin that shows how small-minded how brainwashed you are stupidity it is literally stupidity to dislike someone because of their race think about it dislike someone because of something they control or dislike someone because of something they don't control step number eight this is the most important thing to remember in life you will have hate you will have detractors that's life but guess what life keeps moving on the most important thing you can do is breathe and let it go because you don't need the negativity your partner doesn't need the negativity y'all need to get in the kitchen y'all need to go make some food eat drink some water have some wine enjoy life with each other get back to living your life with your partner spend as little time as possible dealing with haters especially if these people call themselves your friends and your family if you're supposed to be somebody's friend or family then that means you want what's best for them and hating on a person because of their race is not wanting what's best for them be supportive of each other and if they can't support you and the relationship that you're creating and the family that you're trying to create with the love of your life then that lets you know that they're not really family and they're not really friends they're really just someone who wants to stand in the way of your success of your love life of everything that you deserve you deserve to create memories with somebody magical you deserve to share this life with someone and the race is the least important thing peace and love to you thanks for introspecting with me if you like any of the perspectives ideas thoughts maybe you have a comment drop your comment below make sure you hit the like and subscribe button i'll be back in a couple of days peace